Watch you guys, got another video here for you. As you can see, we've got another rogue here saying I've got severe damage to my operating system down on the bottom right hand corner here. And also, you've got this AV Bytes Win 7 Protection 2015. It's a fake antivirus program. Now, this looks exactly the same as all the others, and they are. They're the same family. This one's called AV Bytes uh, Win 7 Protection 215. And then you've got also Cyrus, Zorton. A Secure 2015, Rango, there's there's a, just a few there and they will continually release these with different names. Now if you have got this on your system and you've got one of these variants then just it's the same removal process okay I'm not going to make a ton of videos on the same thing so it's going to be one video but if you've got all these names and it looks the same then it will be the same removal process. So you can see what the purpose is here it's running a fake scan and saying I'm heavily infected and what they want you to do is then purchase their software and they scammed you out of a bit of money now you may be thinking you can go into task manager but you can't here you're going to get these blockages like this same thing with uh, regedit and all those other things you'll get blocked okay so we'll have a quick look at how we can remove this now you can remove these in many different ways but we're just going to quickly uh, reboot into safe mode and uh, remove it from there okay now you can see this is now the scans now finished they want you to go to the register page and they want you to select this and buy it never pay for these things they are a, a scam and you would have just been ripped off okay so as you can see here it's quite a bit of money so don't pay for these things so we're going to reboot our system into safe mode uh, with networking or safe mode and remove it from there okay Now once you tap in F8 on the keyboard you should get your advanced boot options. Now if you're on Windows 8 it might be slightly different but you can always look how to boot into safe mode with some of my videos I've created okay on YouTube you'll see how to get into safe mode. So you can see here um, if you do get stuck I'll maybe make another video of Windows 8 to show you how to do it from there. So from here what we're going to do here is we're going to go into safe mode here. I'll just let this load up and close it off so what we want to do here is we want to go to start and computer and then from there we want to go organize on the top left folder and search options here and then view and then show hidden files folders and drives and then take the tick out of hide extensions and known file types apply an OK there go into your C drive then look for your user account users and then your account mine's called Brightech yours will be whatever yours is and then go into app data this uh, translucent sort of type one here and then go into the roaming folder and now you should see a file here okay now you want to remove this file this may be slightly different to you, may have a different number, but just remove it. And then hit the back button and then go into local. Inside local you'll see that file again, that, that same file, we're going to remove that. Yours may be different. And also again we want to remove this file here, this is the culprit. So we're going to remove that. And once we've done that, we can actually um, run a scan of malware bytes. But we're just going to quickly uh, back out of this now. And then we're going to restart our system back to the desktop. So we let this load up. And that should be the end of that, really. Pretty straightforward and easy to do, okay? Now once you've done that you want to go to the internet and download Malwarebytes and all you need to do here is open up your browser and type in here Malwarebytes and go to download and then download now
download and install this file. Let's just get rid of this page. Quickly install this and then run a quick scan with this and just to make sure that all the remnants have been removed. You can allow the trial premium version if you wish. Again, let this run its update and then fix now. It's going to run a scan and then clear off any remnants that you may have left behind. Now, if you've got other infections on the system, you will have to run other scans and I've made other videos on how to do that. But this should be basically the end of that rogue. OK. So we'll just let this finish up. And it shouldn't be much left or if anything left there might be stuff in the um, recycle bin which is up there so i'm just going to quickly empty this out okay so that's the scan now finished you can see it's found two detections one was in the actual recycle bin which we emptied after it got detected and the other one is just a registry key but Really, you should only probably only see one here, which is this one. Um, but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to apply that and then reboot the system. And then we should be back up and running. I'm going to skip this part, but basically that's all you need to do. I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you find these videos helpful, then hit the like button. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can always head over to our forums and you'll be probably helped out very quickly over there and get yourself back up and running. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks again. Bye for now.